Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection video. This time I'm going to show you where all the treasure chests, the black chests, the bees, and the hellhole are in the Crystalline City. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and obey. The level starts off with a couple of ice ramps, and this is where we're going to find the first bee in the level. As soon as you jump up to this fourth ramp, the bee will appear to the right. Run over and jump to the next platform to pick it up. Just to the left of where we pick up that first bee, you'll find this ice ramp with that broken piece of ice in the middle. Jump to the right and then jump up one more ramp and that'll reveal the first treasure chest. After that treasure chest, head to the platform to the right and you'll be here with the plant creature. Jump past it, the piece of ice will break and you'll drop down onto a moving ice platform. Once this platform lowers down far enough, it'll unlock the next treasure chest above it. Check it out. After the treasure chest on the moving platform, look for this area with the much steeper ice ramp. We're going to shoot the bottom of that ice block on the left hand side to reveal the next B up above. The next treasure chest is here at the banner of rebirth. The last piece of this platform of ice is going to break when you step on it, and as it's falling, if you time your jump right, you'll reveal the next treasure chest and be able to unlock it. The next bee will reveal itself once you get onto the left hand side of the dock below the cargo crate. When the bee shows up, it takes off to the right, so be ready to chase it down. Just to the right of that bee we caught, you'll have to jump over this pit, and then you'll see a little stone block up ahead. Shoot that block on the left hand side with a weapon, and a chest will appear back in the pit you just jumped over. The next bee is located in this room after the banner rebirth. It'll be up in the top left hand corner. Yeah, so if you're not quick, you're going to get trapped up in that top left hand corner. Let's try that again, but this time we'll get out of the way before that cloud arm comes down. And I'll show you how to get to the next chest from this location. Walking across this platform is what's going to unlock the chest up above. The next bee is going to reveal itself as soon as you walk off the right hand side of this ledge. There's also one more treasure chest in this room. All you have to do is shoot the wall above that plant creature three times to make the chest appear down below. Once you get here, they're going to start throwing ice spears at you. Shoot the obstacle ahead on the left hand side three times to make a chest appear above it. Once we're back inside and climb up the first ladder, you're going to get to this area which will unlock the next bee. Make sure you kill the ogre before going up to get it. Yeah. 
After you pick up the bee, head back down the ladder because there's a chest down there. You might have heard that sound when our weapon hit the wall. The next treasure chest can be found in the prison house. On the third floor, if you head to the left hand side, the chest will appear on the fourth floor. After we unlock the chest, head to the right, and as we approach this next ladder, another bee will appear on the floor below. Once you get to the part with these furnaces, shoot the bottom of the furnace to Arthur's right three times to reveal the next chest. If you hit the wall three times behind that chest, it'll make the next bee appear on the level above us. Just make sure you come back down to this level because that's how we're gonna get the black chest. Heading to the far left side of this same floor, when you get to the last ladder, climb down it, and that'll reveal the chest that we unlocked when we first got inside the jailhouse. In the same spot where you found that chest, walk to the left of the ladder to reveal the black chest up above. And remember, with the black chest, you have to kill the dirty magician inside, you'll see the purple smoke disappear, the whole screen will shake, and then you'll know that the hellhole has been unlocked. The hellhole is unlocked back by the banner of rebirth in this prison area, so either head back or die to start back at the banner. After the prison area, you're going to get to a part where you have to jump on all these floating stairs. Once you get halfway and have to turn around, it's that next stair part that's going to unlock the chest. When you get to the last piece of the floating stairs, you'll unlock the next B. To get the B though, you will have to jump down, slide down the roof, and climb the stairs again. After you make your way back up the stairs, you'll get to this wobbly house. Head to the right of the first floor to unlock the last B on the second floor. The next treasure chest is unlocked by getting to the bottom left hand corner of the first floor but you have to do this when the house is tilted all the way to the left. And of course you can always find one last treasure chest once you get to the boss fight. Well, that's going to do it for my secrets and tips video for the Crystalline City and Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and obey.